Hello, Rose Glyther here for Thirsty Thursday. It is the day after January the 6th, our first live for the new year, 2021. And I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. I pray that everyone is staying safe and healthy. And I know we're all reeling from what happened yesterday. So what am I doing today? Well, a few things. I'll tell you, I am diffusing behind me one heart that came out at the convention this year. Smelling very good. What else have I done for myself? I've put on the CBD Calm Roll-On on the back of my neck, the sides, and on the palms, the wrists, my hands. And also, I have Valor on the wrists of, of me. So, trying to stay calm, trying to stay positive, and get through what we all need to get through for the next couple of months. So anyway, here we are. Today I'm going to talk about another product that is something that you can spoil yourself, something that we probably very few of us use frequently. I know I haven't. I have used it, but do I do it frequently? No, I don't, but I should. But it would be something that we all could use today, but we probably don't ha all have it. That I'm talking about is the Art Beauty Mask. Now, I'm not going to take this out because um, I just don't want to use it right now. And when you open this, of course, it's going to dry out if you don't use it. And the other thing is this is a $12.38 product for each. They come in packs of four for $49.50. So that's $12.38 for each mask. But well worth it for your spa day, spa night, or whatever, to put it on and enjoy and give your face some nourishment. So let me tell you a little bit about this product. It uh, supports a healthy, youthful looking complexion. And it helps with the elasticity and leaves your skin feeling good and plumper and more moisturized. It's for all skin types and it has exotic herbal extracts and essential oils. And the essential oil that's in this is basically those in stress away. Very interesting, I thought, especially for today. And those are copaiba, lime, cedarwood, vanilla, alcatea, and lavender. So they're all relaxing oils, but they're also oils that are good for the skin. So this is a mask. So if you open this up, it would be like a white mask, and you'd have holes for your eyes and your nose and your mouth. And you would first wash your face. And then you would place this on, and then you would relax for 20 minutes. And it has the rich, delicate orchid extract included in here, in addition to the oils that make up Stress Away. So it makes it a very luxurious and relaxing thing for you to do for yourself. So what are the benefits of this particular product? Well, it contains anti-aging anti essential oils too. Not just oils good for your skin, but also anti-aging oils. Gives you a youthful looking complexion. and It helps with the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It plumps and rejuvenates dull, dry skin. Contains hydrochloric acid, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And helps keep it nourished and healthy. And it also, if you use this, once you finish with your 20 minutes, you can also add things behind it which work well with this particular product. And that would be um, the Art Intensive Moisturizer, the Art Renewal Serum, the Cher 
And so, and uh, Cheryl LeMay, we haven't talked about yet, and we will next week. But we have talked about the serum and the uh, intensive moisturizer. We talked about those in December. So, what is in this product? Well, it has 18 ingredients, and it has 10 ingredients that also are in the Art Renewal Serum, which I talked about last week or the week before that. I mean, in December, sometime in December. And those are the glycerin, which has, helps to trap the moisture, that lactobiculus form ferment, which is that probiotic that's good for your skin, the whole plant extracts and root extracts and leaf extracts, and the orchid extract, in addition to Boswellia cardiae extract, which is sacred frankincense, but in the extract form, and also other root extracts, and the sodium hydrochlorate, which restores the skin's moisture from promotion, promoting a youthful complexion. But also in there are eight other prod, uh, ingredients, like trehalose, which is a plant sugar that has hydrating properties for the skin. It's naturally derived, it's highly stable ingredient, and it's commonly found in dried mushrooms. It's one of the most effective skin hydrating ingredients on the planet. Very good. It functions as well and it keeps the complexion looking plump and dewy. So this is what helps keep you looking very plump and dewy. And if your face is more plump, you have less wrinkles that are looking uh, also, it has seawater, which is packed with minerals. And we've talked about seawater before. It has magnesium and calcium and potassium that help absorb toxins in the body and promote the healthy process. So that's why it's a miracle worker, seawater is, and it's good for acne and infections. The magnesium is an anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial agent, so it helps get rid of stuff. It also has, let's see what else it has that I haven't talked about yet, has a flower extract from safflower oil. And this helps to diminish uh, and, and the occurrences of dry skin. So it helps to maintain that moisture. Also gives you the integrity of the outer layer of your face to, to prevent it from um, flaking from dry skin has algae extract, which is a power, has powerful nutrients in it. And um, it's a good skin emollient and conditioner. Something I thought was interesting is an extract, which I can't pronounce, Macrocystis pipera. That's as good, as best as I can do. And it's a brown sea algae or seaweed that is normally found in the Antarctic Ocean. And it's frequently used in facial serums. And that's why it's because it is a potent, potent anti-aging and nourishing product. The brown algae assists in preventing damage to amino acids as well and protecting the cell mem membranes. And it also has licorice root extract, which helps to even out the skin tones and helps to preserve the hydro, the sodium hydro, hydrolauric that is also in this product, which helps with the moisture you know, retaining in your skin. So basically, again, I'll tell you, you wash your face and you pat it dry. You apply this mask to your face and you leave it on for 20 minutes and then you gently remove it. And there might be some stuff that might still be stuck on your skin. So you would use a damp cloth to remove any residue. And then you would top it off with whatever you like. The Art Serum, Renewal Serum, the Art Intensive Moisturizer, even I can think of the CBD Beauty Boost. Um, any type of the Art lotion or the bloom lotion 
And they suggest to use it three to four times a week. But I can tell you, most of us are not going to do that. I mean, really, am I going to spend $36 a week using this? And am I going to find 20 minutes three times a week to do it? No, I'm not. And I'm going to be realistic about that. But it would be something that would be good for you to put in your routine every once in a while. And do your, give yourself that pampering that you need and give your skin some moisturizer. So yes, Sharon, I agree with you. Young Living gives us so many great ingredients. I mean, most of the products that I see and most of the ingredients that I see in these Young Living products that I've been talking about are on the EWG scale as a one or a two. And normally they hardly go above a five. And if they do, they're, they're getting rid of those things when they reformulate them. And I've seen that happening like in the kids uh, I think it was the shampoo or the bath gel or something that came up about a couple months ago and it's just amazing the things that Young Living is doing and like I, I see a couple of things out of stock right now and I'm sure they're being reformulated I believe it was uh, the shampoos and the conditioners I went to go get a conditioner and there are none because they're out of stock and I have a feeling they're reformulating them and I'm very curious to see how that's going to be the new ingredients when it comes back in stock. So I'm very curious and I'll let you know when I find that out. So you guys have a great day and I'll be back next week and I'll be talking about Shirley May. Bye.